Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Soup channel. My name is Matthew Ramos and on this channel I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes! Guys, here we are, Thanksgiving Day, a day where we just express our love and gratitude for everything that's beautiful in our lives and for the things that aren't beautiful in our lives. I think that it's very important that we show love to the pain because pain only makes us better and it makes us grow moving forward, turning us into greater human beings that al and it allows us to give more moving forward. So guys, today I'm going to be taking this time and making a video talking about our what I believe is our greatest superpower, which is love but love can only be built on the foundation of gratitude. And that's what Thanksgiving is all about. It's about giving thanks to the things that you are grateful for in this life. And when you are in a state of pure gratitude, grateful for everything, no matter how small or big it may be, then you're coming from a state of just peak energy where anything in life, everything in life is a beauty, beautiful blessing. And in order to give love, we must feel love. Because if all we're doing is giving love to other people and we don't feel loved or love in our hearts ourselves, well then, it's going to lead to some pretty bad things. Think about it. Today, um, I just got back from a trip from Iowa. I spent a week with Taya and um, we had such an awesome time. I experienced snow for the first time, which was pretty crazy. I'm sure a couple of you guys saw my Instagram stories and saw just me experiencing that for the first time. But anyways, I experienced snow and then on my way back, on my flight back, you know, I, I just took a second, everyone took a second to just pause and listen to the PA announcements on our on my flight. And the pilot said something very interesting. He said, he was walking us through the, the emergency procedures of our flight. And he said that in the case of an emergency, there's a mask that's going to come down, an, os an oxygen mask. And if you have a child, if you have someone next to you, it doesn't matter. Do not put the mask on them. Put the mask on yourself. And the reason he says this is because in order to save other people, we must first save ourselves. In order to give love to others and to give back to the rest of the world, we must first give back to ourselves. And we don't need anyone else to do that because we can do it ourselves. You know, independence, my friends. Welcome to independence. Giving love to yourself, feeling gratitude and grateful for the things in your life. You don't need anyone else to do that. You could do it right now in the chair you're sitting in or wherever you're at watching this video. And the interesting thing about gratitude is that you can never feel a negative emotion when you're coming from a state of gratitude. Think about it. Can you ever feel angry when you're sitting in a chair that you're grateful for, in a room that you're grateful for with lights, with electricity that you're just so grateful for that not many people around the world have? I mean, if you look at the statistics, look at the numbers. You should be grateful to even be watching this video. And it's those things that we take for granted that when we really put into perspective, it fills us up, it gives us energy, it allows us to come from a state of just peak energy where we can just live life on in such a beautiful state. And um, you know, we really take, you know, in, a, in America at least, we, or just in the world in general, I, I feel that we take so many things for granted every single day. And if we just took a second, to just take a step back, get out of our heads and into our hearts and just analyze all of the different things we should be grateful for, then the world would look a lot different than how it is today. Now, some of you may be asking, soups, how do I feel grateful? You know, I'm sitting in this chair, I'm saying, thank you electricity, thank you, thank you chair, thank you clothes, the people who manufacture my clothes but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling the energy. I'm not feeling grateful. I'm not feeling, you know, the beautiful thing about gratitude. Well then, I just, I wanna ask you to just put your phone away or just keep this video playing. Close your eyes and just go back to your past and think of a moment in your past that you were grateful for, that you just felt the happiest. I'm sure when I, when I ask you, Think of a moment from your past where you just felt total energy, you felt so happy, and you felt so happy, and it was such a significant moment in your life that you remember it like if it was yesterday. In that moment that you're remembering, what are you seeing? What are you feeling? What are you smelling? What are you hearing? What is the setting that you're in? Who is around you? What is your what is your body movement like? Are you, you know, filled with energy or are you just sitting, relaxing, in peace. What does that moment look like for you? Go back and put yourself in that moment. Remember everything about it. 
and just take a second to experience, to re-experience the beauty of that moment once again. Now, once you're done with that, move on to another moment from your present that recently happened. Again, it doesn't have to be these big grand moments. It could also be something as simple as you walk down the street and you smiled at someone who smiled back or, you know, you, you gave, you gave, you donated money to a homeless man that you saw at a red light. It, it could be as simple as that. And if I'm really being honest here, for me, I find my most of my gratitude from the simple moments, the things that I don't usually tend to remember, but it's those simple things that really make the biggest difference and that really give us the most fulfillment. So of course, we can have those big grand moments that we're all grateful for, those monumental moments in our lives, but in our lives, but it's the little things that we can't forget to be grateful for. Now, as you've done step two, which is take a moment from your past, take a moment from your present. Now let's take a moment from your future. Envision a moment from your future that you would be so freaking grateful for, whether it's you accomplishing your lifelong goal. For me, every time I step into the future, for me, I am so grateful for my wedding day. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for, you know, when movies come back in and I'm walking into that theater once again, ready to see Black Widow or Eternals or the next big DC movie, whatever the case may be, look into the future and look forward towards a moment you're grateful for and envision that moment going down exactly as you envision it to go down. Envision, you know, the people around you, the, the lighting, the setting, the, the sound, what are you hearing in this moment? For me, if I put myself in, you know, into the future, I'm gonna put myself in the theater as I'm ready to watch Black Widow again, the, as I'm ready to watch a Marvel movie again, as it's been almost, you know, we're approaching two years in July from the last time we saw a Marvel movie in theaters. I'm in a jam-packed theater with so many excited fans around me. Popcorn is cracking, sodas being slurped. Excitement and energy is building up in the room waiting for that Marvel logo to appear on the screen as it signifies that Marvel is back. And I, you know, when you put yourself in that moment, envisioning the future, you feel that gratitude. You feel the excitement in your body. So boom, just like that, go to your past, present and future and think of three grateful moments that, or think of three moments that you're grateful for and put yourself in the moment to feel everything that you felt in that moment. And then there, that's when you feel your gratitude. Another tactic that I used to lose you, that I use, another tactic that I use in order to feel grateful is to compare myself to the rest of the world. You know, right now, if you're watching this video, you have the privilege of having access to technology. Well, if you look at this, the statistics for the rest of the world, most people don't have access to even clean water. You know, I have water in this cup, just something that I take for granted every single day. Ah, clean water. Wow. What a blessing. Another thing is housing. A lot of people are out, that are out there are homeless. You probably, if you're watching this video, you probably, and you have a phone or a tablet or a computer, you probably have access to a house, shelter, and that's something you should be grateful for that most of us take for granted every single day, but it's when we take a step back, when we get ourselves out of that crazy routine and just take a step back and analyze all of the things that are around us, that's when we can feel grateful. And when you feel grateful, you have so much more to give to other people. You have energy to give to other people, love, passion, excitement, joy to share with others. And if none of those other tactics work for you guys in order to feel grateful, well then I encourage you to start up a game make it fun, make it competitive. Start up a game with your friend or a parent or a family member and just go back and forth talking about what are you grateful for and you cannot repeat the same things over and over again. But don't just say, I'm grateful for my TV. Say, <laughs> like, get into it, get into your body. Say, I'm grateful for this TV that I have where I, it allows me to watch sports, shows, movies, and just get out of my element and <laughs> into the movie. Thank you so much for that TV. And th then the next person goes and says, I'm so grateful for this speaker because it allows me to listen to music and it allows me to have such, 
such such a more immersive experience listening to music blasting it getting into it i'm having concerts in my room and there's not even anyone here it's just me and my speaker i'm grateful for my speaker just go back and forth with someone like that make it competitive make it fun and as you guys continue to go down the game, it'll go for a while because you'll find so many things to be grateful for that you aren't grateful for on a regular basis. So with today being Thanksgiving, I just wanted to put out this video to help you guys feel that gratitude because our greatest superpower is love. And the only way for us to give love to others is to feel love within ourselves. And we do that by having a foundation of gratitude that we build ourselves by feeling grateful for everything around us. Because the truth is, is that everything in life is a blessing, the bad, the good, all of it, it's truly a blessing because the bad puts us through tough experiences. It ha there, there's challenges that are gonna come our way. There's trials, there's consequences, there's failures we're going to experience. It's all inevitable just like that, Thanos. Well, I guess Thanos is not inevitable because he died and you know, I might snap his fingers. Thank you, right there. Thank you, Russo brothers. Thank you, Kevin Feige for the beautiful movie that was Avengers Endgame. So again, Everything in life is inevitable. The failures, the success, the happiness, the joy, the, the depression, it's all inevitable. It's all gonna come our way. We're all going to experience these things at one, at one th stage of our lives or the next. And it's our jobs to just through it all, just find a way to be grateful for. If you find a way to be grateful during times of depression, then you'll, then you'll end your suffering. You'll find a way out of depression. And that's just truly the name of the game. So on today's, with today being Thanksgiving, guys, I ask you to be grateful for everything you have around you, but also reach out to some people. Some people might not have a family. They might have not have the people around them to experience, you know, the traditional Thanksgiving and to, ha to have dinner with other people that they love and adore. Some, some people might not have that. So again, we never truly know what anyone else is going through. So I encourage you guys after watching this video to reach out to three people and just express your, your love and your gratitude for them. Again, this video is all about gratitude and being grateful for everything in life. So reach out to three people that you're grateful for, whether or not you know that they have a family or not or whatever their experience may be. Reach out to three people, express your love and your gratitude for them and just do it because you love them. When, when, why do we have to have an excuse to show our love for other people? Just do it because you love them and because you never know what life's going to throw away. So enjoy them and be grateful for them now in the moment. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I look forward to continue to pump out videos every single day for you guys moving forward. Now that I'm back in Soup Studios out of Iowa. And shout out to Iowa because Iowa was such a beautiful state. By the way, it's, the, it's according to this sticker, it's the Hawkeye State. So with that being said, guys, go enjoy your Thanksgiving. Go be grateful for everything around you, your family, your friends, your environment. Be grateful for it all. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when more videos like this go up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.